So last week I made a video talking about the PC flipping market and how with a little bit of hunting and some planning, you can actually make a good side business flipping PCs. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you do that and give you some tips on how you clean up your PCs to make them look nice, create a good ad posting, and some other do's and don'ts that you should consider when pricing your system. So how about we get right into it after a word from today's sponsor. As a creator, creating content is almost second nature. Once the idea hits my mind, I almost go into autopilot doing scripting, recording, and editing until it's complete. However, getting it seen on the crowded space that is YouTube is a whole other challenge. With TubeBuddy though, you get access to a wide range of tools like tag optimizers and search ranking results to help you optimize your content to succeed on YouTube. Want to give it a shot? Click the link down below to learn more. Now the whole concept of this PC flipping challenge is to build a PC that's made for Fortnite, one game that is really pushing people to buy a gaming PC. And the backbone of my PC is a Dell Optiplex tower with an i7-2600 and 4GB of RAM. I did however make some really good upgrades to it, so let's get into that. I made a video testing Fortnite with 4GB of RAM versus 8GB of RAM and honestly the results were surprising. I could get away with selling this PC for Fortnite with 4GB of RAM, but since I had an extra 2GB stick lying around, I thought I'd up it to 6GB to give them an overall better experience in other tasks other than just Fortnite because 4GB of RAM is honestly on its way out. Now the GPU we decided to use for this system was an R7 362GB. Now this card has been a pain in my ass in some use cases with this machine that I will address later on in this video, but overall it does perform when working very well at 1080p for the 50 bucks we spent on it. The system that I had also came with a 250GB hard drive that was honestly way too slow, so I replaced it with an SSD. If I was to price out this SSD, which I had laying around, it would add an extra $50 to the bill. That's around the going rate for a 250 40 gigabyte SSD on the new market. I also had to upgrade the power supply to a 500 watt EVGA power supply to be able to power the new graphics card. In total, this system cost us around $300 worth of hardware if we counted up all the hardware we already had. But since some of the hardware in this build is hardware that I already had in storage, like the power supply, RAM, and SSD, I, in theory, only put around $200 new into this system. Now, yes, I know it doesn't work like that because at one point in time, we did spend money on that hardware, but just so you know for reference why we price the PC that we do in the final listing, you can see why we did it because we had the hardware already and it kind of adjusts our expectations for what we want to sell it for. Now, here are some key tips when selling your PC that you really should consider before even thinking about listing it on Craigslist, Gumtree, or Facebook Marketplace. Number one you need to test this PC in popular games. It may sound obvious, but testing games with the hardware that you have is vital to make sure that you won't run into any problems with the buyer later on. This makes for a good transition back to that GPU issue I mentioned before. For some reason, any games running the Unreal Engine on this card will not work in windowed mode or windowed full screen mode. The game will launch, but you can't interact with anything unless the game is in full screen mode. This seems to point back to something to do with the R7 370's drivers that AMD never really fixed and because it's an older card it doesn't seem like it's gonna be fixed. Now this is something that I'm definitely gonna be transparent about with the buyer and something you should definitely do as well. If you do run into some quirks with some hardware people are going to expect that there's gonna be some quirks because the PC will be priced so cheap but you need to be transparent. Tell them the issue, tell them how to fix the issue and make sure it's not something that cripples your PC as a whole and still price it accordingly. Circling back to testing it is a good idea to always stress test your system as well. IDA64 is my program of choice. Running a stress test for a few hours to make sure no crashes happen and also monitoring temperatures of key components like CPU and GPU are really vital in making sure that your hardware is not going to fail on the buyer. In most cases with these older OEM desktops, replacing the thermal paste is almost a must because my system came out of the box with temperatures about 80 to 90 degrees Celsius under IDA64 load and a quick swap of some thermal paste dropped the temperatures all the way down to 60 degrees Celsius. So, so definitely check those temperatures. You want to make sure your system is not going to overheat on whoever buys it. Another very important tip is if your PC is in an OEM tower like mine, that does not mean you should slack on cable management. Make it look as clean as possible. You want to show that you put some time and effort and care into building the PC. It'll make you appear much more professional and therefore people will want to buy more PCs from you. Also, it does help with airflow. You want to make sure temperatures are solid in these OEM systems. 
Now that you have your PC working and looking really nice, you can go about posting your listing. Again, transparency is key in your description and photos. Do not hide away from scratches or weird bumps on the system or daily operation issues like mentioned before. You will eventually run into someone who will take matters into their own hands and get really frustrated if you sell them a PC that doesn't work. Treat them the right way and treat them the way you want your PC to be treated if you are buying it from somebody. Don't try to make a quick buck off somebody by scamming them at a parts. That's not going to end well at all. Now your pricing needs to fit this accordingly as well. What would you pay for this system? And then you can add a little bit more to that. You should also mention that you do accept offers and if you are up for it, you can even accept trades from people. I personally don't since I want to make my money back and invest it back into other opportunities. But if you're somebody who wants something that somebody else is offering, more power to you. Now the PC we have is going to be listed at $300. We could probably get away with more money than that, but $300 is what we put into the system and we're not really looking to make a huge profit return some of the hardware again was from older pcs we had lying around that wasn't going to be used anyways so in theory we really put only about 200 dollars into the system and in theory we will be making back about 100 dollars in terms of profit and they're just investing that back into the youtube channel it is not a bad idea to overprice your PC and then in the description ask for best offers because people will actually still reach out to you and lowball your offer. But if they do lowball, it may get closer to your original asking price that you have in your head. Most smart sellers will list a price that's more than they expect to get and then kind of have a price in their head that they would accept as an offer. So that's a little bit of a tip for you all. And after all that, you're pretty much done. Go ahead and post it to the site of choice and wait patiently for responses. I currently have my PC listed and will definitely report back when my PC is sold. If you follow us on our Twitter at Toasty Bros Tech, I'll be tweeting it out whenever the PC gets sold and I'll let you know the final price and what went on with the whole transaction. But overall, if you do follow these tips that I've mentioned in my past two videos, you are certainly on the right path to making some money flipping PCs in 2018. And that about wraps this video up here guys if you like this video leave a like down below and comment flipping in the comment section down below if you made it this far are you flipping pcs on the side have you considered doing it i know it's harder to do in other countries than others here in the u.s it's very viable but other countries i've heard it's very difficult to get used pcs into your area and then be able to sell them because of the lack of interest i'd love to know in the comment section down below also if you have any suggestions for future content be sure to comment down below and also follow us on twitter if you haven't done so already and join our discord community for more behind the scenes coverage from the Toasty Bros. Hope to see you on the next video, guys. Peace out.